Butch Weiniger, Wikipedia article audio. Harold Delano Butch Weiniger, Jr. is an American former professional baseball player and the current hitting coach for the Indianapolis Indians AAA affiliate of the Pittsburgh Pirates. He played in Major League Baseball as a catcher for the Minnesota Twins, New York Yankees and California Angels, and was a two-time All-Star. Weiniger was drafted by the Minnesota Twins in the second round of the 1974 Major League Baseball draft. In his first season in professional baseball, he batted a league-leading .346 batting average and 464 on base percentage with a .524 slugging percentage and 8 home runs and 51 RBIs for the rookie league Elizabethton Twins, and was named an Appalachian League All-Star. Playing Career Minor Leagues In 1975, Weiniger played for the unaffiliated Reno Silver Sox of the California League, and batted .314 slash .473. He led the league with 142 walks and 112 RBIs, and was second in the league with 106 runs and 19 home runs. The Twins invited him to their spring training camp in 1976 where he successfully made the team, never having played double or triple A baseball. To date, Weiniger is the only catcher to have ever jumped directly from A ball to the majors. Weiniger proved to be adept both behind the plate and batting. In 1976 he was the fourth youngest baseball player in the AL. His first major league home run was a game winner off Catfish Hunter on April 18, 1976. Weiniger was batting .294 with six home runs and 37 runs batted in at the 1976 All-Star break to be named to the American League All-Star team his rookie season. He drew a walk in his only at-bat, and became the youngest player at the time to appear in an All-Star game. For the season, Weiniger had 650 putouts, second in the league behind Jim Sundberg, and batted .260 with 10 home runs and 69 RBIs and was ninth in the league in walks, with 79. He finished second in the 1976 American League Rookie of the Year balloting to Mark Fiedrich, and was named the Sporting News Rookie of the Year. Weiniger had six home runs and 47 RBIs at the midpoint of the 1977 season to make his second consecutive All-Star team. He drove in a career-high 79 runs for the season, and had established himself as one of the better fielding catchers by leading the American League in base runners caught stealing with 60 and logging a .993 fielding percentage along with 84 assists second only to Sundberg. He led the league again in 1979, throwing out 64 base runners, led the league in caught stealing percentage at 52.9%, and once again finished second to Sundberg in fielding percentage with a .992 average. In 1980, he led all AL catchers in double plays, with 13. Minnesota Twins Weiniger signed a $2 million, five-year contract with the Twins in 1981. However, he found himself traded to the New York Yankees one year later on May 12, 1982. Weiniger claimed that Twins owner Calvin Griffith wanted to get rid of high-priced players however, Griffith responded that Weiniger was being traded because his batting average was only .209. Weiniger hit well with the Yankees in 1982, producing a .293 average in 63 games. He had more walks than strikeouts, leading to a .413 on base percentage. New York Yankees he platooned with Rick Serone behind the plate in 1983, 
batting point 296 slash point 399 slash point 429 in 94 games. He was the Yankees catcher on July 4, 1983 when Dave Rigetti pitched a no-hitter in Yankee Stadium against the Boston Red Sox. Weiniger became the Yankees' starting catcher in 1984, playing in 129 games. His average dipped to .267 in 1984, and fell further to .223 in 1985, in part due to an injury that occurred when he was hit in the head by a foul ball while standing in the on-deck circle. In 1985, Weiniger caught both Phil Niekro's 3,000th strikeout and his 300th win. After three and a half seasons with New York, Weiniger became a free agent and re-signed with the Yankees for the 1986 season. However, the stress of playing for a high-profile team in New York City led by owner George Steinbrenner, manager Billy Martin, and then manager Lou Piniella began to wear on him and led to him suffering from a deep depression. A contract dispute in 1985, the firing of Yankee manager Yogi Berra, and a personality conflict with new Yankee manager Billy Martin took their toll on Weiniger's morale. In July 1986, Weiniger informed the Yankees that he had lost his enthusiasm for the game and didn't want to play in New York anymore. He called general manager Clyde King and asked him for permission for some time off, explaining that he could no longer cope. After talking to owner Steinbrenner, King told Weiniger he could have one day off. But the game was no longer fun for Weiniger anymore and he told King this was no one-day thing, departed for home, and did not play for the rest of the season. He left the team forfeiting $1.4 million still owed on his contract. California Angels Months later, Weiniger requested to be traded. The Yankees traded Weiniger to the California Angels on December 19, 1986, for pitcher Ron Romanek and player to be named later relief pitcher Alan Mills. Managing and Coaching Career With the Angels, Weiniger became a backup for the first time in his career, working behind Bob Boone during the 1987 season. In May 1987 the Angels team physician removed bone spurs from his arthritic right big toe, and operated again after the season removing calcium deposits from Weiniger's foot. Career Statistics He retired as a player early in the 1988 season at the age of 32 as he was batting point .255 slash point .338 slash point .418, due to his arthritic big toe. In 1992, Weiniger coached at Rollins College. In 1994, he became the manager of the Baltimore Orioles South Atlantic League affiliate, the Albany Polecats. A year later, in 1995, Weiniger was named manager of the Charlotte Rangers of the Florida State League, where he remained through the 1997 season. He spent the next five seasons, through 2002, as the Texas Rangers roving hitting instructor, and part of 1999 as the Rangers major league bullpen coach. Personal Life from 2003 to 2006 Weiniger was the hitting coach for the Milwaukee Brewers. In 2007, he went back in the New York Yankees organization, serving as hitting coach through 2014 for the AAA Scranton slash Wilkes Bar Rail Riders. In 2015, Weiniger moved to the Pirates organization as AAA Indianapolis Indians hitting coach. In a 13-year major league career, Weiniger played in 1,301 games, 
accumulating 1,102 hits in 4,330 at-bats for a .255 career batting average along with 65 home runs and 506 runs batted in. He ended his career with a .989 fielding percentage. Weiniger logged 10,521 innings behind the plate in his career. Weiniger grew up in York, Pennsylvania, the son of Harold D. Weiniger, Sr., and Doria L. D. Weiniger. He attended Red Lion High School. He has been married twice. He was married first to Gretchen Diane Oas in December 1977, with whom he had three children a son, and two daughters. They divorced in 1988. He later married his second wife, Deborah.